Hey songsters, today I'm gonna show you how to write a song in one hour. I post tutorials, song vlogs, and new songs every week on Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. And if that interests you, consider subscribing, liking this video, and maybe sharing it on Facebook and inviting more of your friends, your songster friends, to join the tribe. Writing a song in an hour is sort of a new discovery for me. I would say this is more for advanced songwriters, so if you're just starting to write songs, don't put this pressure of one hour on you. Um, give yourself time to grow as a songwriter, explore, experiment, take weeks or months or even years to write songs, and you will get better if you just keep coming back to the page. But for you advanced songwriters who've been at it for a little while, this can really help like, improve your creativity, and it's a lot of fun uh, when you do it right. It doesn't have to be a stressful thing, so that's what we're gonna work on today. Here are some things that you will need before you get started with your one hour songwriting session. Number one, a song seed or a song idea. Number two, a chord progression or some kind of musical idea it's easier for me if I have a chord progression, but if you aren't a musician as well as a lyricist, or if you um, don't have the know-how to write a chord progression, um, might be a good time to start. But if you don't wanna get into that, just have a musical idea or a melody idea going. Number three, a good musical foundation. This is more about knowledge and um, your history with music, so, it works better if you've been writing songs for a while, and it, it also works better if you have a little bit of musical education under your belt. Number four, a finished pre-write. That means um, some of these song prompts that I've been doing every week are pre-writing exercises, like a free write, or going for a walk and writing a poem, or um, you know doodling and coloring. You want to just do something to get your ideas flowing. Um, if you already have a song seed started, you don't necessarily have to do a pre-write. Pre-writing is just to get your ideas started. Um, I like to do both just because, you know, if I've got a song seed, then maybe I'll get more ideas with the pre-write and then I can come back to those when I get stuck somewhere in my hour songwriting session. How long has your longest song taken you to write? If you've been at it for a while, like me, um, you have seen quite a range of <laughs> time frames for your songwriting. My longest song took me like, uh, well not my longest song, but the longest songwriting experience for a song for me it was two years. And the shortest songwriting experience I think was like 10 minutes. Quite a range. And um, the, <laughs> the two year songwriting session took like, or w was like later after the 10 minute one. So it's not necessarily like the longer you've been writing, the quicker you get. Sometimes you just get an idea that takes a long time to get out. Um, I wanna talk to you guys about this. And so put your experiences in the comments. Um, what's your longest songwriting experience? What's your quickest songwriting experience? Tell me about it in the comments. Once you set yourself up for success, the time restraint does not seem so daunting, I promise you. It really just feels like you can let yourself go and have fun for an hour with your lyrics. And when I discovered this, it was mind-blowing because to think about writing a song in an hour before this point was like stressful. And I don't I don't really work well under that kind of stress. I've had terrible test anxiety as a kid. I did not do well with, um, you know, those kinds of pressures. So it's kind of odd that I'm coming to this discovery later in my life. Um, but if I set myself up with these tools, then this hour songwriting session is really just fun. I think it's really important that you turn your inner critic off. If you have trouble doing this, um, it can take a little bit of practice, but the more you do it, kind of like free writing, the better you get at just not editing yourself too much. I think it helps to think of this as more of a song exercise that might end in a good song, rather than, um, oh my gosh, I've only got an hour and I have to have a song when I'm done with this. There's no real reason to put that pressure on yourself. Unless you're writing for a record label and they need a song that day, 
and most of us don't have that pressure, then this is just to help you be more productive. And that's really the end goal. So if you sit down for the first couple of hour songwriting sessions and you don't have a finished song, no big deal. You can just do another hour songwriting session the next day. And then maybe eventually you'll get a song at the end of that hour songwriting session. The intention is really just to improve your creativity, improve your productivity, and to have fun writing. Some really, really awesome songs, even written by professionals, take years. And then other songs written by professionals or amateurs take like 10 minutes or 20 minutes or something. Um, it's so idea specific. It's so individual for that song. Um, so I just want to make it clear that you don't have to write a song in an hour, but if you want to write a song in an hour, if you want to challenge yourself, it could be a really creative, fun way to challenge yourself. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope this song hack helps you improve your creativity. I'll be back on Friday with another song vlog. As always, click subscribe and write the song that you need to hear this week. The timer sit. <laughs> I hope this song hack helps you inc improve, improve your creativity. <laughs>